my famous soup. So what I do is I put in my mirror de foie and the hamburger meat as well for the grease. And what you do is you cook it on high and you put in a little bit of tomato uh, liquid. And you let that burn off. And what you want to do is you want to start creating some burnt material on the bottom of the bottom of the pot because that's what's going to be your actual soup base. And it's going to give it that color. If you've ever made tried to make soup and you can't get color, this is why. So you just want this stuff to start burning on the bottom of the pot a little bit. And once you get that burn in there and it's not scraping off. What you do is you add in a little bit of water or wine and you scrape it off the bottom with your spoon and that'll give you a nice uh, dark consistency. I'll show you that again in a minute. Okay, this is what you're kind of after, is this little bit of burning there. So I'm just gonna push that back over top of that. And as you can see, starting to do it everywhere in the pot. You don't want it to go completely black, so just keep it moving. Just keep running it over top. And then when you start to get that happening, I just remove it off there because you don't want it to fuck up. And then what you do is you add water or wine. Okay, so I'm gonna add in, instead of water or wine, I'm gonna use a little bit of the broth juice. Pour in some of that. Bring it back onto the heat real quick. And then I'm just gonna start scraping that off there. Use that broth to get it off. And it's gonna give you a really nice dark texture in your liquid. Wait for the juice to heat up a bit there. Get that off there. And you just scrape that stuff up because that's where all the goodness is, is in there. So, you can see it. We're going to need more liquid here. I'll just add a little more in there. You don't want it to really burn anymore. Because you don't want your shit to taste burnt. You just want a little bit of that happening. Let's see. You know we're looking good now. Still wanting the brown, which is really good. So now what I like to do at this point is get in my tomatoes. That's where the flavor comes in. Just throw a couple whole tomatoes in there. But they'll break down in the morning for a bunch of that juice in there. That's where the flavor comes from. And then just start breaking those down. Smash them up. Get them in there. And once we have that in there, get all that goodness happening. hard because they're cold so take a little bit of that to get the heat going on it and at this point I'm not adding a bunch of water yet because I want the flavors to infuse a bit before I start diluting everything that's where your flavor is going to come from so now that we got that in there to be the main base of my soup, not noodles. And this one's going to have rice in it, because I'm not a big noodle fan, because your noodles go super soft after a while, and I'd rather have super soft uh, rice instead of super soft, soggy, snotty noodles. So, I get that all going in there, just keep working those tomatoes down in there, bust them up, this point too. You're going to want to add in a little bit more salt. Get some salt in there. 
Half of this juice in now. Half of the broth. That's the sound you're looking for. Right there. And then it'll cool down for a minute. But not too much. Beef hamburger, hamburger rice, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much how I rock my soup base. And you can see here, I'll show you. It doesn't look like just brown soup base that you pour it out. If you look in there, there's a lot of goodness in there. Look at that. And that'll all change color too. But that's a that's the kind of that's what you want your soup base to look like, not clear. And after I actually mix in a little bit of chicken soup stock with my uh, beef soup stock because it gives a little bit of that saltiness. And that's pretty much how you make a good soup base. Okay, we got to reduce down a little bit. <clears throat> so now, what you want to do is, if you're having something like a potato, this is when I get the potato in there. It's gonna have to cook for a while, and the rice doesn't go in until the end. So, get our potatoes in there. And then you want to pour in the rest of your soup base. You don't want a clear soup base like what you see in the middle. That's, it's not really that color that you want. You want it that good, dark, greasy color. So it's gonna take a little bit to heat up again. And then uh, we'll boil it up. And then after we get where we're closer to the final product. And uh, what people think a lot of times too is that you have to cook your soup like really, really, really long to get that color and you don't. Cook it on low for six hours. Like who wants to wait six hours for soup? You know what I mean? So that's just a little secret. Make a mire de pois. A mire de pois is uh, onion and celery and garlic. And I like to just use more vegetables than that when I do a mire de pois. And then uh, you put your hamburger in there with your onions and your stuff and you burn that up on the pot and get it to brown up a little bit. And that's what you do. And then when we get closer to putting the rice and stuff in here, about a half hour in, after the potatoes are softened up a bit, I like to put two bay leaves and just sit them on top of there with the lid get that going in. Stay tuned. Okay, here we are about 15 minutes later. And in case you were just thinking like, well, I don't want a, you know, a really light orange base. If you look, that doesn't look orange. Okay, that's a nice brown, deep brown. And if you're making a, a beef stew or a beef soup, that's the color you want, that dark brown. She had to did it, she had to did it, she had to did it to your own self. Delicious. 
She had to did it. She had to did it. She had to did it to you yourself. Too bad. She had to did it. She had to did it. She had to did it to your own selfish. She had to did it. She had to did it. She had to did it to you yourself. Too bad. She had to did it. She had to did it. She had to did it to your own self. Rock the gym. Rock the gym. pretty good deal we got all our grease floating on the top right now which is really good too and it's kind of separated because we get, we're cooking it and simmering it now in a really low heat so that's pretty much what you're looking at right there some good old soup mm. good. okay that's how i make some soup if i uh you like this and you want some more uh, tips on how to cook some shit then let me know in the comments like and subscribe and all y'all have a great day thanks for stopping by